Hello Techies, welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to extract or collect data from the website by using web data extraction actions. If you see over here, I'm having web data extraction actions such as extract data from web page, get details of web page, get details of element on web page, and take screenshot of the web page. To extract a piece of data from a web page, we will use appropriate action depending on whether the data to extract from the entire web page or an element inside. Over here, what I'm going to do, I just want to extract the data, a portion of data or a specified field of data so that I'm going to use extract data from web page action. By using this action, we can collect the data from the specific parts of a web page in the form of single values, lists, rows, or tables, and we can create a virtual table and store the data in Excel spreadsheet. You may ask, what is the use of this collecting the data by using this extract data from web page? By using high volume of web scrapping or data, it will be very helpful for the productivity. For an example, in the marketing, as well as analysis for the future perspective. All right. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to work with extract data from web page action. Before that, I will show you an, a small example where we can collect the data from the web page. I'm going to the shopping website, which is a famous one in India. That is Amazon.in. Over here, if you see, we are having a lot of data over here. I'm going to search for the books. Let me search for the books. We will find a lot of books over here. Like you can see, over here, we are having the title and the amount. And after that, who has written that book? We are having all these informations that we have. You can see n number of data that we are having. I need to collect this data from my website. How can I go ahead and do that by using Power Automate? Let me copy the URL first. Now let me go back to Power Automate. Over here, I'm going to launch Chrome over here by using launch new Chrome. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Launch mode, I'm going to launch new instance. Initial URL, I'm just directly going to use the initial URL for the books. Over here, we can do in another way also, like web recorder, we can use it. But over here, I'm not going to use web recorder. I'm just directly going to use this initial URL to extract the data from the particular web page. All right. Now, window state, I'm going to take it as maximize. And the advanced, I'm going to select only wait for the page load. We have seen these properties or parameters earlier sessions, right? Now, the launch new Chrome instance, I'm going to store in the browser instance. Let me rename it as Google Browser or Google Chrome Browser, and then I'm going to click on Save. Now, from this particular website or web page, I need to extract the data. So what is the action that I'm going to use? I'm going to use extract data from web page. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, if you see over here, the parameters of this extract data from the web page, we're having first one web browser instance. That is the instance which we have launched as part of the launch new Chrome. That is initialized over there. That is Google Chrome browser. We have used that. And after that, if you see, I want to store the data once I have retrieved the data from the particular website or web application. I can store that in the variable or Excel spreadsheet. So what it will happen based on your Requirement, you can go ahead and you can store the data in the variable or the worksheet, Excel worksheet. Now, if you see, I want to bring up the web browser or windows for the foreground to get the all the to extract the information, right? If you see, how can I go ahead and collect this from the extract by using this action? Just you need to switch to the browser. And then you can see live web helper that is extract data from web page has been started. Okay, now what you have to do, you have simply go ahead and capture the data. Just you can see over here, right click on that. And after that, you can see extract element value. 
select that and you can see you want text or title or custom attributes there at least we need to select few of the elements over there to uh, to get all the data now i'm going to select the first text over here and after that i'm going to select the amount of the uh, amount of the book you can see over here i'm going to highlight that right click of the mouse and then you can see extract element value and then i'm going to select the test and in the same way you can see value 1 value 2 i have extracted i'm going to select one more value that is the author name you can see over here when i right click on the right click on the value it will come extract element value and then you can see over here i can select the text as well as the hyperlink so right now i'm going to select the text once again i'm going to the same value right click and after that I have selecting the extract element value and then I'm going to select the href that is the link I'm going to select it out. Now if you see I have collected four values from the part particular division that I can save particular book right now I want to extract for the entire page right I'm having all the books you can see over here approximately I'm having 20 to 30 books or less than that I'm having some value over here so I have selected only one value out of one division that I have selected four values over here in the same way I can select another value right click and then I'm going to extract the element value I can say text once you have done that one you can see over here the entire data re related to the remaining pages has been extracted automatically you can see over here think about the think and grow rich that we have selected that value right and for there we have selected value 1, value 2, value 3, value 4. And after that, the power of your subconscious mind, I have selected one of the book and automatically we got all the values related to that. Right? That's a beauty thing over here. Now, we are having advanced settings over here. When you click on that, if you want the particular values, how you want to define so that you can go ahead and you can give that all the values. And also you can use use paging also over here that based on that the CSS selector you can go for the paging values right now I'm not going to use that let me click on OK now I'm going to finish this so that what will happen you can see over here synonyms of data extracted from the extract records are in the form of four column table that is I'm having four columns over there and that stored data value I'm going to store the data in the Excel spreadsheet all right, let me click on save. Now, as a best practice, what we'll do, we will close the browser by using close web browser action. Now, I'm going to use the parameter over here as web browser instance as Google Chrome browser. Let me click on save. Now, if you see over here, I don't have any Excel instance data. Inside the data, I don't have anything. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see it has opened the new Chrome instance. Once the data has been extracted by using extract data from the web page, you can see the data will be stored in the Excel that you can see over here that I got the data like in a such a way that I'm having book name and the amount. And after that, you can see the author. And after that, you can see the links over here. All the things have been captured or collected the data by using extract data from the web page. And once it has been done, we're going to close the web browser. And you can see all the data. This can be used for the future analysis or else for the marketing perspective or any kind of thing that you can use it with this data over here. I hope you understand how to extract the fields data from the web pages and then we are going to create a virtual table and store the data in an Excel spreadsheet by using extract data from web page action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.